and happy January 2nd, 2017. This is Sue at SueBrook.com. And I made a pact yesterday on January 1st that I would do at least one video per day to motivate and inspire you. So here's my first one. So this one I think is a great way to start out the year. I have to tell you a story. It's not my story, it's my friend Diane's story. She says, she uses this little thing that says, she says, face your llama. If there's something that you are afraid to do or you don't wanna do, she says, just go ahead and face your llama. So I said, what does that mean? Why do you say that? So she told me this really cool story. So about 15 years ago, Diane used to go on this walk and to get some exercise. So she went on this really nice walk out in Simi Valley, California, and every day she would walk by a llama farm. So it was a whole big pen full of llamas. And every day there was one llama that apparently did not like her. And when she would walk by, it would run up to the fence and spit on her. And if you don't know about llamas, they do spit and their spit actually stings if it gets on your skin. It's not cool. All right. So every day she would walk by and she would look over and that llama every single day would run over the fence and spit on her. And she was getting really, really sick of it. So one day she thought, I wonder if it's just me or does it spit on everybody? Maybe it just has a problem. So, <laughs> so she sat back and she watched some other people walk by and the llama completely ignored them. It did not run up to the fence and spit on them. So she thought, okay, well maybe it's done. So she walked by the fence and I'll be darned if that llama didn't run as fast as he could up to the fence and spit on her again. Okay, she was sick of it, she was done. So the next day she thought, I am gonna get this llama. So she got ready and she, she if you don't know Diane, she a long time ago, she got braces and she doesn't have it anymore, but when she was younger, she set a big space between her two front teeth and she used to be able to spit really, really far. Apparently she got suspended at school when she was younger for that, spitting at boys, but anyway, that's beside the point. So she used this to her advantage this time. And so before she got to the fence, she looked over and she took a big old drink of water. She started by the, the fence and yes, that llama, here he came, came running after her. But before the llama could spit on her, she took a big old spit and she got him right square in the forehead. The llama stopped dead in its tracks. And do you know what? That llama never spit on her again. Is that hilarious? So go out. 2017, stop thinking about your, you know, worrying about what people think about you and, and, and go out there and do what you really wanted to be doing or what you should be doing. Maybe you should be following your goals and doing something every single day. So I'm facing my llama and I'm doing my videos every day. So I can't wait to hear about what you are facing. So go out and face your llama. This is Sue at SueBrook.com and I'll see you tomorrow.